All right, back y'all fam. We are gonna get straight into this one. Um, pretty much a continuation of the first video where I introduced the car to the channel. But what we're doing now is we're about to install our aluminum radiator with electric fans and our relay box. And this is the first time I'll be installing a relay, relay box like this. I've always just did my own relays. So I figured why not, um, why not give this a shot. And all of them come with 40 amp relays and uh, these fuses. But you can change these fuses out to whatever you want. I'm gonna put all uh, 40s in them. Well, I may just do 30s depending on what, uh, what I'm running on it. I may do my fans. Just see, I'm gonna just see how it how it um, works out first. But I'll probably just be on the safe side and just keep all of them 30s so that way it's under what it's actually rated for so that fuse will always pop before that relay. And I got the one that came pre-wired. So you got your positive, your negative, and then your first relay. We're gonna um, test that out, man, and see how that works for us. Um, pretty much got your basic tools, crimpers and strippers, voltmeter, wire connectors. I mean, I'ma take this radiator out, take this fan off, and um, I will get back with y'all when we get some progress going. Cause I got a, got an ignition wire right here coming to the, um, coming to the electric choke, but I really don't want to tap into that. And if I don't have to, I would rather use a separate one, but that is the easiest trigger. So we shall see. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. What should we name this car, y'all? Y'all get in the comment section and give me some ideas, man. I don't know. I mean, I like the traditional cut dog, ain't it? <laughs> I ain't mad at it at all. I actually like the car, man. And if you know me, I ain't even the Cutlass, man. This is actually the second Cutlass that I've had. First Cutlass I had was a T-Top. But it's actually, yeah, it's actually on that on that picture that's in the, um, that's on my uh, channel for the header or whatnot. So prime down just like this. It just had T-tops and I had the IROX on it. But this car actually cleaned up very, very good as far as the inside. And this is actually what got me stuck on because I never liked Grand Prix. <laughs> and once I got the Grand Prix last year, and really looked at that car up under and inside after I cleaned it up. I fell in love with it. But this one right here, man, this is this is it's pretty much the channel's car. So we're gonna um everything we do to this car is going to be on the channel if I can help it. And they may not always be able to pick up the camera, but if I can at least take a picture of what happened or what's going on, I would definitely do that. But we're gonna um we're gonna clean this engine bay after we finish doing that and um getting these brakes figured out. Once we get the brakes figured out, 
then we can try to test drive it and see what this uh, transmission gonna do. And hopefully, hopefully, it um, shifts out and everything. So, that's enough of that rambling. Let me get to work. fan we back quick little update got the fan off cleaned up a lot of stuff around the uh, motor got the um, radiator temporarily mounted cut my holes to land my bottom holes I had to run to AutoZone and uh, Walmart get some old train mission line so I can run the cooler to the front um, block off for this for the water pump um, Teflon tape so I can install the temp sensor correctly and reinstall this one so it won't leak. Um, and I had to get some more stuff for our relay setup. We're finna get ready to wire that. Got some new battery terminals so I won't have no problem hooking that up. Um, yeah, just a little quick update. Um, about to get back to it. Back fam, got the uh, trans cooler mounted temporarily, permanently temporary until I get me a, my bigger one with the fan and stuff on it. Um, started putting cooling in it. I'm getting ready to start putting it through the motor now. I already started putting some, but I figured I'd pick up the camera, get a little update. Um, we're finna get close to firing this thing up, letting it pretty much warm up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start hooking up the fans. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna do, just hook up the fans and um, 
so the, oh yeah, I got to rewire the fuel pump. I'm gonna rewire the fuel pump to these uh, relays too. So that way I can have as much clean power running through the car as I can instead of it just being straight wire. But um, yeah, I'm gonna sit y'all up and we're gonna continue with this thing. All right, gang, so now we got everything um, cloned up and ready as far as the cooling system. So um, next thing to do is to wire these fans up so that way we can run it and um, basically see what we're working with. So what we're gonna do is, well, what I'm about to do is clean up a little bit because it's getting a little beyond my, beyond where I wanna be. So. Probably speed that look through All right, so I have a little update so far. Show y'all what I'm working with. I got my power and my grounds ran for my relay box. So now, and everything's just loosely right there right now. So I can make sure everything works and I hook it up right. Then I can rewire it once I uh, finalize everything. But for right now, this is what we got. We got a alternator wire, power wires from the fuel, I mean not from the fuel, from the fuse box in. Car didn't have a body ground, so I ran a new body ground and I grounded the fuse box right here also. So now I just have to um, run my turn on, well my ignition wire that I'm used to turn on my um, relays and wire them up to the fans and I'm gonna wire up my fuel pump to one too. So I'll get back with y'all when I get that going. And so yeah, pretty much, I mean, pretty much now, I'm probably not gonna pick it back up until I finish it. So next time y'all see it, everything should be done. So give me a second, let me knock this out real quick and then I'll holler back at you. Now we're at the point of testing. Uh, I already tested the relays and they turn on like they're supposed to. So now I'm trying to make sure I hook up the fans and everything, right? So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to go turn the uh, ignition on. And if I need to go up under here, we're gonna disconnect this fuel pump so it just won't be running. So let me do that real quick. <clears throat> All right, we got the fuel pump disconnected. So when I turn the key, yeah, I should hit a relay flip. So that means we are getting power. Actually. So what we've got to do is make sure that I got my fans running right and going in the right direction. And they actually turn on like they're supposed to. Try this out. Yeah, 
And there it is. So let me hook these up, run my final wires for that, and I will get back with y'all in a second. Got all that finished up. Um, that's how the fuse box looking in the wiring. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up later on. Like I said, we're just making sure everything worked now, but I did already test it. Fans come on, fuel pump come on. So now we're gonna um, run it a little bit and make sure we ain't got no cooling leaks. Yeah, let's do it. I think it's like down too low. Oh, look like we got some issues. Let's see what we got. We got no fuel. We got fuel. Let's see. Carburetor finally showing his true colors. See what's going on with this and i'll turn y'all back on all right gang we back um i think that second spring on it just had too much tension on it it was choking it out but it's fine now uh, it's running good holding a good temp fans may be working a little bit too good because as y'all can see, 
we ain't even hit 140 yet. So, and this car doesn't have a thermostat in it, so I'm probably gonna end up changing that because it's a little too cool for me and it's gonna get cold. So, I'm gonna, um, at least I know my setup is efficient. And y'all can see how efficient it is because this car been running. This car been running, I know, almost 10 minutes. To the point where I had the cap off, started revving it, then something sped out, so I didn't know just putting the cap back on. So, but all in all, the uh, actually, let me turn it off. Turn it off, let it sit for a second. So, the um, that temp sensor can see its true temperature what it's sitting at now so we'll go take that in a second but all in all um today was a very good success i um successfully got the relay box hooked up i'm using the first two relays right now uh the first one for my fans the second one is for the fuel pump um kind of warm I will say that, but nevertheless, we're gonna try it out. Well, it's working fine so far. So I got a few more things to clean up, but I'm probably gonna end up ending, ending the video because like I said, we're done. Um, eventually I'm going to relocate this and rewire it, but it'll already be Pretty much self-explanatory now that I figured everything out because this box did not come with any instructions. You have to be some type of electrical savvy, <laughs> if you want to say. Have some type of electrical knowledge to know where and really how relays work. As long as you know how relays work, you ain't got a problem. But it's very easy to do it yourself. But other than that, that is it for the cutlass today. Um Let's, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and see what this temperature is at. Get true temp reading. Okay, I guess that was true temp reading. So, that's what we're seeing that temperature was. Five on the dime. Well, like I said, backyard fam, we back. This is gonna be the end of this video. Next video, uh, probably gonna be tackling the brakes, if not cleaning the engine bay, but it just depends on how I feel tomorrow. So, I'm out, man.